right, hello. Today we're gonna start part of our um, stained glass project, okay? And so the supplies you'll need today are going to be this Xerox sheet, and it's just clear. You could also use like a paper sleeve. Um, it has this white little strip on there. You can peel that off if you would like, or you can just leave it on and let me grab a Sharpie. Actually, it would probably be a lot easier if you just left it on and write your name. Okay. So write your name on there. You could do it with a pencil too, because it's actually paper. Then I'm going to flip it over. This part is really fun. It's really relaxing. And I think you guys are going to like it. Um, I love doing these still. So I used to do these as a kid and I loved it. All this is is glue and water. You'll need glue and water today, a paintbrush, and these are just little squares of tissue paper, like the paper that you get when you um, unwrap a present if they give it to you in a gift bag. It's that tissue paper that's really thin. So I'm gonna paint a little bit of glue onto my Xerox copy sheet, okay? So I paint it on there, and then you're gonna put colors of tissue paper on top. So I'm just going to paint like a small portion. Don't paint your whole thing quite yet because that glue will start to dry up pretty quick. Okay. So I'm just going to paint like this little square. And if you want to do a certain colors, if you wanted like all warm and cool colors, then you could do that if you want. I'm just going to have a variety of colors. So I'm just going to do warm and cool. The key is to cover every space. So if you see little holes in there, grab another piece of tissue paper and put it on top, okay? So right now I'm just gonna place the tissue paper on it and I'm gonna keep working my glue over. It doesn't have to be super thick because I'm gonna show you the next step after we get this part done. Um, we're going to be adding glue onto the top, okay? So let me put that there. I think I need some more pink and some purple, brown. And I'm making sure that they overlap because I don't want to have little spaces in there, okay? When you do your stained glass, you'll understand why, okay? So just follow the rules for today and follow directions and then it will turn out, okay? <laughs> All right, trust me, I've done this lots of times. Oh, I might as well keep that a rectangle. I've got a nice big spot to put it. Let's see, this one I want to tear. If you have pieces too big, you can always tear them up, break them down. Maybe I'll put a little blue up here. Okay, so now I'm just going to finish this portion of my paper, and then I'm going to show you what the next step is. You guys are actually going to fill this entire rectangle with the tissue paper. So you're gonna be painting the glue, putting on the tissue paper, painting the glue, putting on the tissue paper. If you have little tiny spots, oh, I want some red. There's some red. Um, then overlap with another piece of tissue paper. So I see a little tiny, let me, let me bring it closer to you guys. I see a little area right there where that's just glue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a square and I'm just gonna put it right over the top and just kind of tap it down, okay? So anywhere that you see any little squares in there, put another piece of tissue paper over the top, okay? So now let's pretend that this is all full. I don't wanna do the whole thing right now because it will take up all of your work time. So I'm just gonna do a portion of this today. Okay, but I want you to first fill this all in, just the way I did this part. Then, once you're done with that, you're gonna take your brush with glue and you're gonna gently, these tissue papers are very thin so they can tear, but go really gently and you're gonna paint a layer of this glue and water mixture over the top, okay? So I'm just gonna make sure it's nice and thick Painting it over the top. I'm not doing big strokes with my paintbrush. I'm actually going nice and slow. Once my brush looks like it's out of glue, dip it back in and continue 
to cover up those spaces, okay? Once you have this whole sheet done with this step, you are done for today because we actually need to stop. This is part one. And then we have to let it dry so that we can do the next part when you come to art next week, okay? So let me just finish this. I just have to. It's so fun making these. I think you guys are gonna love this project. You could do so many different things with this too. All right, so I've got step one part of it done and I'm gonna work on finishing this while you guys are working, okay? All right, have fun today and we'll do the part two next week.